Hey guys, it's Kaylor. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Today is part two of our design to code project that we started in the last video. Today we're going to be finishing up our overall design and adding all of our images in and making everything final so we can get ready for the fun part, the code. So let's go ahead and head over to Adobe XD and take a look at what we did in the last video and get started. All right, so here is the wireframe that we finished last time. Everything's in black and white. And overall, we have some pretty good spacing and positioning on all the elements that's gonna be final in our design. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna select my artboard and hit Command D to duplicate it. And then we're just gonna change this to design. So first things first, we need to get rid of all of our black and white images. So we'll start here in the hero section and I'm gonna select the image. We previously locked this, so I'm gonna hit Command L to unlock that. All right, so what I'm gonna do is with this unlocked, I'm just gonna delete it. And then I'm gonna drag in a rectangle in its place for our new image. And then I'm just gonna remove the border and send it to back using Command Shift left square bracket key. I'm gonna go into my folder now, and then we will just grab our image in color. All right, so now that we have that, all of our font can no longer be seen. So we're gonna have to do some adjustments, but we'll do that in just a second. Let's continue on down and finish up adding our images. For our next image, I'm just gonna drag this nice colorful image in, and then we'll go down to the bottom and drag one here in this section as well. So this is supposed to be our guide. And we actually need to change this text as well. I did notice that from the last video when you say our... And now for our repeated grid, I'm just gonna select it and then I'm gonna go into my folder and grab all of these images and just drag into the first square and that will populate our repeat grid for us. So that looks good. So let's go back up to the top and fix our hero and then we have some other changes to make. All right, so the first thing is pretty obvious we need to do is change all the text colors. So once again, I'm gonna lock the background image just selecting it and hit Command L just in case we drag something around. I don't wanna mess with that. So I'm just gonna grab all of these and change their fill color to white. So that's all we need to do for the navigation. Now for our heading, we should just do that in white as well. And then our paragraph text below that in white. Now it's still a little bit hard to see these things because of this white in the wave. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly off camera, go into Photoshop and flip this image around and save it. That way you guys don't have to fool with anything. So I'm just gonna do that right now. So now I flipped that image and saved it. I'm just gonna drag it in. And so now our wave is over here. So this is no longer clashing with our white text. But just to make sure we have no other issues, we're gonna add some drop shadow onto most of our elements here in the top section of the page. So I'm gonna grab the heading and I'm just gonna start with a default shadow that Adobe gives us, which is three on the Y and six on the blur. And then I think the shadow is, yeah, 16%. So let's zoom out and see how that looks. And I'm also gonna do that here on our paragraph text. And just to make sure there's some separation between the heading and the paragraph text, instead of changing this to a different color, I'm just gonna lower the opacity to about 80%. 80 won't work. Uh, and then I'm gonna darken the shadow on this one just a little bit. So let's drag this slider up to somewhere around 22. And let's go and actually preview this. Select this artboard. That looks pretty good. Okay, so now we need to adjust the scroll. I'm also gonna lock this background again. So I'm just gonna grab that and change the fill to white. And then I'm gonna grab the line and then change the border on that to white. And we also need to apply a drop shadow to this. So I'm just gonna zoom in, grab my text and apply a normal shadow. And then let's see, on this we'll do a normal shadow as well and see what that looks like. Might need to be a little bit darker. We've got a lot of whites in the background image. So let's grab both of them and let's drag them down to 22%. Do the same for our line. And preview. Much better. Okay, so that is everything I think we need to do here in the hero section. So when we populate this with a video possibly, or if we just keep this image, this looks overall pretty nice. If you wanted to, you could even add some shadow up here, but for this particular image, 
it's working well with the background. So I think we're fine, but in code, we might add a drop shadow to that as well. So let's check out the rest of our design and see what we need to do. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna create a new color. So I'm gonna add a, uh, just a square onto the page and just remove the border. And in the fill, I'm gonna go with zero C, two nine, four three. That's a nice black blue. And I'm just gonna add that to my colors by clicking the plus icon. And then we could just delete this shape. So everything that is black is gonna be switched to this more than likely. So first let's just grab all of our headings so we don't forget any. And let's switch that over to that color. Just a subtle change, you can barely notice it. All it does is really lighten this up a little bit and it doesn't have these harsh blacks all over the screen. So let's also do that to these icons and this text. So I'm gonna grab all the text and do it. And then we'll grab all the icons and do that as well. So once we have that, I'm gonna go to my underline and do the same thing. Just grab that and make sure it's blue. Then we can do the learn more since this is technically a link. Just add that there and then change the arrow icon. And then lastly, we can do our social media links. We also need to change the color of the text on this button. So I'll just grab the text, change that, and then I'll grab my icon and change that. I'm also gonna round this rectangle so it's not so pointy. Let's try three. That looks good. And let's see if we can add any other thing to this to finish this up. Just for a small bit of detail, I'm gonna grab the rectangle tool and just drag out a square holding shift. I'm gonna change that to our black blue color, remove the border, and then I'm just gonna position this in the corner of our image like that, and then send it to the back, command shift, left square bracket key. Let's see how that looks. And then I'm also going to do that down here. So I'm just holding alt, and then I'll position that. I like that detail, but I'm gonna lighten it up a little bit. So I'm gonna grab both of them. And I'm gonna change the fill color to 26547C. And that's just a lighter blue. So also let's add that to our swatches. And I think that's good. So let's click the preview icon and select the right artboard. So here's our hero section. Everything's nice and visible. We scroll down, we get a little bit more information about our surf. Scroll down, we can see some pictures. And we have about our guide and then our simple little footer. So that is it for this design. Real quick video finishing off this section of the series. So for the next video, we will start to actually code this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more design and code related content. Make sure you turn on that notification bell so you don't miss a video. You can follow me on all my social media at Kaler Edwards. As always, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one.